Hello guys, what's up? Welcome again to Floatrex. So thank you again Jason Jaded for making this um, this awesome logo and also this t-shirt and sending it to me free. He did that. He's such a cool man. Uh, so thanks Jason. All right, um, so we're gonna see this trick. It's called the Ling Win Thumb Roll. It could be that it's pronounced like Ling Yun uh, Thumb Roll. I don't know if its name is even the Lingwin Thumb Roll. You know, I just called it that way when I was making my uh, Digitroll series uh, two years back. Um, why so? Because you see this trick, you know, so this trick. Yes. <laughs> so you see this a lot in the Lingwin uh, scene, you know. So Lingwin scene, you know, you know that. You must have seen all these videos, for example, from Ken Guan, you know, he has a really good video with all the Lingwin tricks coming back and back, you know, in such beautiful executions. But, you know, for the people who are quite um, close to the community these days, you will see the videos of Tony Duyong, you know, that from, uh, you know, the guy from uh, Ken Team, uh, Ken Club, you know, his son, Gia Hei, I don't know if I say it right, he's also very active. For example, also participated at the World Cup. Just saying, you know, uh, Lingwin style, you probably know, it's so cool. Um, what is a little bit of the downside of Lingwin style for me, besides it being, uh, you know, yeah, so nice, so aesthetically perfect, that it also has limitation, but I think those limitations are quite, you know, not the goal on its own, but it's, it's not their worries. I see it more as, uh, for example, a kata. You know, in a kata you have, cert you have certain moves, uh, I don't know how many, but you know, and they always come back and it's, it's the, the goal to do them as perfect as you can. And I see the Lingwin style a little bit of the same because it's always the same tricks uh, that come back. You know, like, and you know, typical. And you know, those people who do it. And um, you know, Ken Guan and Tony De Jong, for example. Um, they have so much skill, so much talent. And then you see them do these tricks quite all the time. It just um, confirms my point that it's more of a kata form where some tricks are done over and over but in perfection, as they do, as they do. Um, because, you know, these guys, they would rock. If they would go like all the way, um, as I do, as Ken do, as my mate, uh, Jason Jaded, as my colleague uh, as well uh, does, you know, to perfect, um, let's say, or to expand, to explore all that a person can do with a new chaku. And that's probably also most of the time the reason that you are here. Um, that's also what happens now in the competition. Um, you know, we get the, in the competition, we get the critic from some people, like it's all European style, Western style. But I, you know, I disagree totally with that. But what they probably mean is what scores high in a competition besides doubles preferred over single nunchaku, with, you know, just because of the difficulty, I guess so, you know, it's just, it's what, it is what it is. But in the end, we try to explore, and that's my point. Um, all that we can do, and we always try to make it more difficult, more and more difficult, all the time, you know, to see where are the limits. There are none, and there are also endlessly variations. That's something I want to get off my chest as well, as being one of the guys that is for years at the top in the competition, you know. That's the goal, that's my goal, that's where we all go for in competitions, you know. Join in, make the best of it, all right? Don't stick to your traditional tricks, although you most likely like them and it's, it's for fun, but it's so great and that's also why you're still watching this video to do a little bit more and therefore in this video I want to show the Lingwin Thumb Roll but I also want to add an index roll so we go from Lingwin Thumb Roll and then we transfer to our index finger to complete the trick with a, what I call Lingwin TI Thumb Roll Index and that's what we're gonna see today Now, first of all, we're gonna see the Lingwin T. Now, the Lingwin T is a trick, you know, for some people, this is the really go-to trick. The first trick they almost learn when they go for digit tricks. For me, it was a little bit different, you know, I have more, because it goes from inside to out, I have a little bit more pro uh, problems with it. Not that it's a problem trick for me, because, you know, it's not for sure. It's also uh, the start of the, the, digit, of the five digit roll, T to P, as I call it, so from thump all the way to the pink, which was the first five digit roll I ever learned. Um, but I like more from the outside to the inside, like this one, for example, or, you know, the zero gravity thumb roll. That's something for me that's just way more natural. I can also put way more speed in it, all right? This feels a little bit more robotic for me. For some, so it just depends. Um, so that's why I'm saying, you know, if you can already do the lingwin thumb roll, we'll, we'll, which I will show and try to teach uh, briefly here, you know, go to this time, <laughs> add in the video, yeah. Uh, so where you can see uh, where we go from thumb roll to index roll. All right, so first, the Lingwin Thumb Roll. I love slow motions, so I'll just show them and talk over them. You know, as you see, 
you just start um, from the inside so that means the opposite hip so we're, you know if you're gonna try it always use your dominant hand first you know that's just obvious but I'm just will say it again uh, also also repeating not criticizing anyone also not trying to kick someone in the stomach for sure not I mean who am I to say even um, but use some material that feels good for you all right so if you have a two kilogram oak nunchaku with a chain of 20 centimeter and then you call my nunchaku toy nunchaku I don't think that's fair I think you're just using a little bit of the wrong material all right choose something that you know is fun to do all right we're not macho man <laughs> To say it like that we're not the alpha man for sure I am not I mean like you know use a nunchaku that feels good in hand good weight you know you feel good with and you want to try to explore your tricks all right come on there's nothing wrong with that just go for that all right so you start from the opposite hip and then you make sort of a swing and then you're abruptly gonna stop all right most of the time with digit tricks that's it all right so we're not gonna do this with our thumb you know by now you should know that's not the trick it looks like that but it's not what we're doing all right so we go from the side and then we abruptly stop and then for me going already to that index roll I go to that pencil stance I go to the pencil stance you know it's such a nice grip you know where you write like a pencil uh, a stylo a big as we say here you know from the French you know I'm see my French see my Dutch speaking you know Belgium complicated country all right anyway what is uh, most likely if you would end this trick is you go actually after a 540 spin to that negative grip because that's where you're gonna end because we start in the positive grip okay so we have that making speed to the center a bit to the side where you like it and then we abruptly stop it okay um, yeah car coming in very convenient when teaching okay so that being said we go, we go from opposite hip we go to the side and what happens with me and I don't know if, if that's the same case for you because I say opposite hip that I, I go more you know higher when I go execute so I, that means I also go a little bit diagonal all right I saw that before with me so it could be that for you and maybe that's why I struggle that for you it's more convenient to start from the opposite shoulder so you go shoulder and then do that lingering turn you see for me that's more it goes way yeah it's it's doesn't get the right speed so I go from hip and I do like I would almost do a pizza aerial okay so we go a little bit diagonal, we stop here abruptly, and then we let it spin. Okay, sounds easy? It's a bit like that. So really, make a way, to find a way, <laughs> just checking, creep, <laughs> just uh, find a way to abruptly stop it at some point, releasing, and like this, open your hand, okay? And let the speed that you create, and if you have a heavier nunchaku, it's even better, because the g-forces at the back of the nunchaku will help you, you know, to rotate that 540 degree or a 900 degree, or a 360 you know it's different for everyone but it's for you to find out but mostly one and a half spin 540 degree all right start opposite hip go to the center abruptly stop and it will spin and you go to the pencil stance if you want to go to index uh, next which is the <laughs> up in a few minutes um, but you could go for that negative grip and just you know end that trick with a hand roll and then you're back on your same hip in the positive grip all right Good, good luck with that. Now we go, so welcome everyone again who just skipped the part of the Lingwin Tom Pro. So now we're gonna see the Lingwin TI, okay? As I said before, just right now, it's important where your stopping position will be. So the starting position will be the same, all right? So we go from opposite hip and then we go to the center, just the same way you would do the Lingwin Tom Pro. There's no different thing you need to know. Only when you stop, you're not going for that negative grip, but you're going from that pencil to going you're going towards that pencil position all right and then you're gonna use that speed but you're also gonna push off all right so we go like this and then we're gonna push off with our index finger we're gonna push forward so we're gonna say on, on that small part where your index finger hits the stick we're gonna say and now I'm gonna push you a little bit forward and then you're gonna create that next 540 spin so that way you're gonna end the trick but what it looks like so what it feels like is what I just described what it looks like to everyone also to you after a while uh, watching back to your recordings what it looks like to the people to the audience who's in front of you next to you whatever who doesn't know how this trick is performed it will be like you do this so smooth so subtle this one-way motion it feels like the nunchaku is just spinning spinning around and you're just putting your fingers finger, fingers upwards you one by one just like you would do a five digital um, yeah which you can see right here by the way so T index middle finger ring finger very hard you see me moving with the wrist you know it's because you have don't have that 
motion in your finger and then to the pinky and then you end five digits row, for example all right the thumb to index lingwin style gonna see another time in the slow motion yeah i just love the slow motion and i got the feedback that they're very helpful so we're gonna do that so from a different point of view all right you push off you make that speed abruptly stop thumb roll to index and then grab that nunchaku and end the trick all right all right we're gonna stop it here for the people on patreon for this month i'm gonna show you how to reverse so we're not gonna end this trick after the index roll but we're gonna do a piece reverse we're gonna push it back forward in the other direction so reverse and then we do actually a finger thumb roll which is for most people the most easiest trick that there is so we already done the hard part that's what we're gonna learn right now and then finish with something easy and then we get one of my absolute favorite tricks and favorite lines left to right and back and I think for Digitrix that's almost what it's all about all right hope you had fun and see you in the next video